Hello there my beautiful and lovely gamers, my name is Jonah, welcome to a guide to how to deflect Graviton Surges as Genji, it's very difficult but it's really really powerful and we're going to talk about how to hopefully increase your consistency with this move. Now, I want to specify and I want to very 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 clearly note that while deflecting Graviton is really really cool, you gotta remember that we are in the end jumping from the Vasaria with 100 energy potentially, right? And that means that potentially we are feeding, right? And potentially we are committing, uh, you know, suicide. Now, gladly, either they were gonna long range grab, which is a little bit weird and doesn't happen as often, or else they're gonna rush very aggressively into your team. So at least you're close to your team, but I do recommend that if you're gonna pull this off to try to have your deflect up. Now, as we can see right now here on the screen, you can see essentially a, a way to, to position yourself. So you want to position yourself. This is again, this is a, a, a Anubis position that I like to play on a lot of time. And, right, and this is really great because as my potential team, I'll just struggle Reinhardt, this is my potential team, is defending this point, right? I'm kind of like eating in the, like in between these two, right? So uh, let's say if my Ryan's playing up here, for example, this uh, this enemy sorry I can rush here, I can then get in between and deflect, right? And it's very easy to see when Saria players are going to deflect. But positioning yourself something like this, not inside your main group, as I've found out that if you play inside the main group, one they will spot you and they will be far more um, withhelding their gravitons, especially again in the higher yellow, so in Grand Mass and so on, the Saria's are very, very, very concerned about where Genjis and Divas are positioned. And number two, positioning yourself, therefore, on the side and so on will save you. And if you're in the main group, there's, the, there's a big chance, and you probably experienced this, you pop deflect and the Rhyme puts up a shield, and the shield blocks the grab in front of your deflect, and therefore you never deflected, even though you timed it correctly. It happened too many times for me. So normally, positioning yourself a little bit in front, so that you can kind of can kind of squeeze in between here, in between the Sari and the, and the Rhyme, is a good position. In general, this is also, again, the position that we want to Genji, right? On the side of our team, right? So we can create crossfire anyhow. So, in any way, this is a good thing. So I'll show you guys a couple of examples of how to deflect Gravitons. Okay, now I would like to note that this is a very, very old video. You can see this is the Christmas theme. My Smurf is only two stars. This is back in Masters. So, Essentially, I have blade, I want a handle blade with my team and so on, and they do have Graviton. Now, I didn't delete that Graviton, but it's very clear how they do. When we look at Gravitons, we want to just look at how the Saria position in place. And again, even if there's a do, I'm not sure if it's slow or high masses, it's too far back. Um, but it's anywhere in between low masses and border GM. Now, this Saria, look at how... Look, look at my positioning, which is just general positioning. I take a general positioning. I rarely position myself specifically to deflect gravitons. It's more of a thing that is a byproduct of a good positioning. And number two, look at how predictable the Saria is. Look here. Okay, we come in here. I shoot. I take a high ground. Right? Look how predictable this is. She's solo pushing without her front line. And that is what makes it very easy. On some of that, I know that my team is to a certain extent like, okay, they're kind of like stacking up here. So yes, she would like to grab them as they are now all together. So therefore, she's going to grab. And it's very predictable. And that's normally what we're looking for, right? So I come in for this angle here. I deflect in front of her. I deflect the graviton, right? And then I'm going to blade, right? Okay, so let's take a note and another example. You will start seeing how similar these things are. Okay, so this is one more recent game. This is actually a diamond game. Um, on my, again, this is the same account, even though I'm now using this as kind of like my diamond account to play with friends on this. So, let's kind of look here, right? This again, just because it's high ground, just pressuring him. Saria is very clear. Okay, she's, look at how she's positioning herself. She's kind of, okay, she's looking for an opportunity. I'm poking her to see. She burned a personal bob, which is great. And then, I jump down here because I know that she has grab. And I know that she's spotting my LOS. So I'm on this high ground, again, to create that angle that she can't really predict. So she can't just pressure me and bully me away with the beams, right? So, notice, okay, I've noticed that she's down here, right? By peeking her, I noticed that she went from the payload. Oh, shit, that's full screen. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. Let's see here. There we go. I know she was here. I know she backed off. And therefore, she would probably come in for this angle. And since I know she's going to grab... And I know that she spots me, she's probably going to grab from an angle where I can't find her. So I'm going to drop down here in front of her, okay, she's going to back off because she got low, right? And then just run in front of her. As again, notice what she's doing. She's just rushing into my team. And there's no reason for the rushing my team. She's closing a gap that makes no sense. Therefore, I know she's going to grab it. Therefore, I run in front of her and deflect. 
And as and this is the thing with the sorry that does this. By running into us with like their deflects out and so on. The fact that what they're doing is that one, they're overextending themselves in the push. So if they, she doesn't deflect, hopefully we can damage her enough to force her to either die or force her until she doesn't want to grab and so on. And I already baited her personal bubble by shooting at her, right? So she's already used the personal bubble. So by pushing her, when she's pushing super aggressively, she either spots my deflect and doesn't do it and then takes a huge amount of damage and it dies as this rush is a really bad way of grabbing, just running into the enemy team, head first with no team to back. Or... I deflect the Graviton if she shoots it, as she is full HP. Now we're going to take a look at one last example right here. Now so frankly, I'm not 100% sure what rank this is going to be, and as this is a brand new spread account during placement games, um, however, it's going to be, again, the very similar thing you're going to spot. You can normally always spot telegraphically when they're going through. On top of that, that now, look at the time bank. It's 026, meaning they have to grab. And they, I know they're going to grab early. So therefore, I'm 100% sure now that they're going to grab a town, right? They come in here, I pressure the Rhine as I normally do, right? Just dealing damage, right? And I don't have a blade, so I don't want to go for the backline. I think that's why I can easily deal with this more, this, this, um, the sorry I grab, right? Normally, I would maybe look to, p to pick up the backline early here to make sure they can put in full force. But okay, so sorry is here, and just look at how she is going to be pushing and how she's going to line it up, right? So she's going to run past me, and look, she's just running in a straight line. She's just going and going and going. Therefore, I know. Now, now she got pushed by Muhammad. But it's very clear that one, it's OT. Two, she's just running in. And now she's popping her, her personal bubble as she's, as she's getting extended. Right? Now, I'm going to dash here to make sure that I close to get fast enough. Run, deflect in front of her, and deflect grab. Right? So, again, what can we kind of learn? Positioning yourself on the side and high grounds. Uh, kind of in between you and the team. So, you can actually easily drop and get in front of a team here. I have to dash because of the Hammond. But normally, I could, you can walk up to them. Look for the, for that predict, uh, very, 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 what can I say? A predictable, it's called in English. Straight line rush, right? It doesn't have to be a straight line, as we saw on Holly, no, on Blizzard World, where she kind of went from the payload back, took damage, went back, and then she again tried to rush from like an, a corner on the side, miss, so I couldn't see her, right? It doesn't have to be a straight line rush, but in the end, you're gonna. They're going to do something very aggressive push. A lot of time they're going to push alone. Um, and a lot of time you're going to see them uh, trying to like run, burn their personal bubble, right? As they're overextending themselves and so on. If they're very, very close to uh, to the overtime. And that's of course also one of those things that's going to be a, a factor as it's overtime. They are going to have to burn their Graviton. And they're probably going to burn it early in the team fight. And again, if they don't burn early in the team fight for some weird reason, then well, then, they are, then they're losing the team fight on purpose here. So yeah, that's how to defect Gravitons, position on the side, look for these predictable patterns, pop, deflect, liking, and subscribe, bell notification on the channel is always appreciated, and join the Discord community down below, um, including my Twitter and my Twitch, and as always guys, if you're interested in hiring me as a private coach, it's 50 euros for a 2 our session doesn't matter if it bronzes off by 100, doesn't matter if you play on a team or not, as long as you can get a VOD to me, I can help you improve, so if you're interested, you can hit me up on our Discord server, thank you guys. Very, very much for watching and liking and all that good stuff. I love you guys very, very much. Please take care of yourselves, the positive and awesome. And as always, guys, keep the enemy in your crossing.